Assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon to all of you. So how are you all doing? Good? Okay, that's very great. Yes, I'm also good. Alhamdulillah, thank you. And uh, how are your lectures going? How are your lessons going? You made new friends? Yes? Okay, that's very good. Okay, so it's your social studies class and um, I, I, okay, who is going to tell me what was your home assignment uh, yesterday? What did I give you? Yes, I asked you to read your book page number one and two, right? Okay, so did you read that? Okay, fine. So um, in today's class, the topic is very interesting. Uh, today we will be discussing what are the different types of professions that we see in our neighborhood that we observe. What are the different types of duties that people perform? And um, we will start um, from the very basic topic, the very basic things that we observe around us. And then we will move forward. We will discuss every profession, every walk in detail. Okay, so without wasting time, let's move towards the top, um, our today's topic. I'm going to share the slide with you and you have to tell me whether it is visible to you or not. Okay, show me a thumbs up. Okay, perfect. So, Let's start our day with the great name of Allah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Let's quickly review the classroom rules. Um, all of you must have remembered these rules by now. Well, the very first and the basic rule is that you are not allowed to turn your camera off during the classes. You are supposed to sit in front of the camera and um, you are supposed to pay attention to what is happening in this class. Well, you should raise your hand if you want to say something um, in order to maintain discipline in the class and in order to listen to what other people are saying. And listen when someone is speaking, paying attention to whatever is happening in the class instead of engaging yourself in something else is very important, okay? And the last but not the least is that you have to follow the directions very quickly and carefully. Whatever is happening in the class is related to your subject, whether we are doing an activity, whether we are practicing something, whether we are reading or we are writing something, whatever is happening is related to you and it's important for your learning. So you should pay attention to what is happening in the class and you should listen to each and everything very carefully and attentively. Okay? Let's quickly look at today's plan. We will have a small starter activity and then we will watch a video. Um, then we will uh, look for different professions in your neighborhood. So we will wrap up and then there would be a reinforcement activity, okay? So let's start from your parents. Let's start from our home and then we will move. Um, uh, we will expand the area and we will discuss all of the professions that we observe around ourselves, okay? So um, well, the very first thing that you guys are supposed to tell me is that you have to tell me what do your parents do, what are their professions, okay? So raise your hand. Uh, well, it is not important that uh, both of your parents should be working and do not shy in that, telling that. Um, even if your mother is a housewife, whatever the job your parents are doing, you just need to tell that, okay? So raise your hands and I'll come to you one by one and then I'll listen to you, okay? So let's start from the right side and on my screen, uh, on the very right side, Sarah is sitting. So let's start from Sarah. Yes, Sarah, what do your parents do? Uh, tell me about your father and then your mother. Okay. Perfect. And uh, is there anyone else in your house? Like, does your grandparents live with you, an uncle or someone who is doing some job? No, okay. Let's ask Vasya. Yes, Vasya, what do your parents do? Okay, cool. Okay, let's ask Alize. Yes, Alize, what do your parents do? Fine. Okay, so see, we have learned about um, the different professions or the different um, jobs that our parents are doing. And now we will expand the area and we will look for See, let's start from your home, okay? In your house, you see that your parents, let's say, both of your parents are doing a job. One is businessman and the other is teacher, let's say. So you can observe two professions, right? And you can 
look for the life patterns, the, the social relationships, the activities, um, the responsibilities that both of them have, okay? Then you will look for something else or the other people or their profession, what are their duties, how are they different from your parents, how are different professions different from each other, and all that. Now let's look at the different professions that we have in our neighborhood, okay? Okay, you must, all of you must have seen um, um, a such type of, you know, um, what should I say? Person with, uh, with doing this job, okay? All of you must have observed around you. So um, can you identify the profession of this person who is in the picture? Um, the, bra the background is telling you, is giving you the hint uh, about what he is doing. So who is going to tell me what is the profession of this person in the picture? Yes, come on, raise your hands. Okay, yes, Abdullah. Yes, he's a shopkeeper. Very well done. Okay. So how did you come to know that he's a shopkeeper? Because he is standing in a shop. Very well done. Okay. So who is going to tell me what are the duties of a shopkeeper? What do he do? Okay, when you visit a mall, when you visit a shopping center, when you visit a shop, what do you observe? What, were the, what are the people uh, who are in the shop? Um, if you visit a shopping mall or a, uh, or a big shop, uh, what do uh, we observe over there? And all of the people who are working, who are serving there, they are wearing this uniform, the same, you know, the same dress. You can easily recognize them by, by their dress, by their uniform. And then if you need any help, for example, you are searching for an um, item and you cannot find that, on your own so you can ask them so instead of mixing it up with the common people who are there for shopping they are wearing this uniform there is this proper uniform for all of these staff and they wear it so that easily the people who are coming for the shopping who wants any need they can easily recognize them and ask them for what whatever the thing they want where it is okay so what do a shopkeeper do or, or the other people who usually work in the shops they serve people in a way that they provide you items right they buy things for you they buy the things from somewhere else and then they sold it to us right so um the, the duties of the shopkeeper is to provide us things and uh, similarly all the other staff who are working in a shop they help us in finding the stuff or they tell us basically that where let's say i want um <clears throat> uh, peanut butter so and, and if i ask uh, the people who is uh, one of the staff members that I cannot find the peanut butter. Can you guide me, please? And he says that go straight and on the right side there is this, you know, rack and you can find the peanut butter in the third row. Let's say, so he will guide me when I'll be easily go I'll, uh, and take it from there. Okay. So let's look at the second profession. Okay. What do a postman do? Have you ever observed uh, a postman in your around your house in your street or? Um, not only in your street, somewhere else, in your village, or anywhere. Okay, uh, the the, <clears throat> the tradition of sending letters, of posting letters, is no more common. People do not, um, you know, get themselves into trouble by posting letters. There is now um, the uh, era of development, technologies, and we are used to the gadgets. We uh, communicate with our loved ones on the mobile phones and laptops and all that. So we do not rely on these things right now. But the postman um, plays a very important role in our society up now, uh, even still now. And in the previous time, he was very, very important. Why? Because he carries all the messages of the people from one place to the other. And um, it was his duty to, uh, you know, drop the exact or the right letter to the right person. Okay? So, um, and that the, uh, the duties of the postman is to take the letters from the post office and make them lead to their um, respective addresses, okay? Okay, so um, maybe you have, some of you have observed this red box on which there is a written post on um, uh, around the road when while you are uh, walking or while you are going to the park or somewhere. So you must have observed these red boxes. If not, do search for that. Um, these boxes are there in Raul Pindu Kambad. If all of you are living there, these are um, not very common, but there are still. 
some post of uh, boxes in Dharpandi Samaraj. And then there is this post office. And then there is this post one as well. Okay. Okay. Who is going to tell me what are the duties of a doctor? What do a doctor do? Yes. Very well then. Doctors basically take care of ourselves. Okay. Take care of us, right? Okay, let me specify this and let me clarify the difference between the duties of a doctor and the duties of a nurse. The doctor basically prescribed us the medicines or what we, uh, you know, let's say if I was a doctor and I um, told him that I'm suffering from, let's say, this disease, I'm having pain in my back and all that, he would prescribe me medicines, right? He would say me, like, let's say you will take this medicine uh, and uh, you will take this syrup or all that, right? And what would the nurse do? She will give me that medicine on time. So the doctor gives the direction and the nurse follows that, right? So basically the nurse looks after us and the doctor only guides us. He also, uh, he only gives us the direction or he only, he only guides us um, the proper medicine. Uh, the, a nurse cannot. We don't directly go to a nurse for the medicine, right? We do not directly take the appointment of a nurse to, uh, you know, to show her that um, we are suffering from this disease and what should, I, what should we do, right? We visit the doctor. And then what the doctor guides, a nurse follows that, right? Okay, so what are the duties of a doctor? That they guide us, because they have knowledge about medicines, they have knowledge about diseases. So they guide us that how can we maintain health? What uh, should we use if let's say we are suffering from a disease? How can we uh, take care of ourselves in a better way and all that, okay. Okay, it is another very common profession that we observe in our neighborhood drivers drivers and drivers are a very important part of our society as well um you know everybody needs a driver you know even if it's a doctor he needs a driver if it's um it's an army man he needs a driver if he is a teacher he needs a he or she needs a driver if it's common people they need drivers for driving so drivers play a very important part in our society and in everyone's life okay and we must observe them around us in everywhere everywhere and now there are a lot of, um, you know, cab companies who provide you this facility and you can easily book your ride from the home and you can go anywhere, right? So um, uh, the point was, what are the duties of a driver? What do they do? Okay, who is going to tell me? What are the responsibilities or what are the duties of a driver? Okay, yes, they... Um, exactly, yes, they... Their duty is to um, take us safe from one place to the other, right? To the desired place, wherever we want to go. Okay, perfect. Yes. What else? Yes, this is very, their very important duty that they need to drive safely. Exactly. Okay. And they need to follow the traffic rules. Yes. What are uh, what other duties are assigned to them? That they should. Yes, they should also, uh, you know, um, um, they should also show concern for the their passenger's time. Let's say a student is um, a student booked a cab and uh, he has an exam, so the driver should concern about that instead of uh, that he, um, you know, stops somewhere on the way uh, for his own work. So he should care for that the passenger who wants to go somewhere. So it is his responsibility to take them on their desired spot on the time, okay? So these are all of the duties of a driver. Okay, so today we uh, discussed, we discussed about uh, the different professions, the different jobs, the different duties that we observe in our neighborhood. And some of the very common duties are the duties of a driver that we observe, driver, driving is a very common profession. Then we talked about a doctor, a doctor is a very important part of our society. Then we talked about a postman, postman um, and the posting together. It is not very really common, but still it plays an important part in our society. And then we talked about the shopkeeper. Shopkeeper is another very common profession in our society. Okay. So these are the very four uh, gender professions. And today we will expand it more. And then we will do some exercise from the book as well. Okay. So um, let's... Uh, move forward okay before um uh, ending the class i want you all to open your 
that is a no dam the main enforcement activity what is the uh, what is your home task that you have to write down the names of the professions you already know okay note them down and beside that you need to read the book page number three okay and so then uh, in tomorrow's class inshallah we will be we will get done with the first topic and then we will do the exercise the related exercise from the book as well then inshallah on friday we will have a weekly assessment uh, it will be small assessment and oil assessment in which we will revise what we have covered so far in the week and then um, we will move on okay so class this was all for today hope you guys enjoyed the class see you in the next class take care and allah